let, let's talk about space for a minute. You guys have expanded your space pretty much nonstop for the past decade, literally, in terms of construction project after construction project, and you have several more major projects in the pipeline. Um, so I'm kind of curious. Uh, and, and just to familiarize everyone, so you've got a renovation of the patient tower, which I'm sure would have had to happen at some point as well, but also expansion of the emergency department, a new emergency uh, uh, ED, ED facility North. in yes. uh, Scotts Hill, uh, Zimmer Center expansion. Uh, so basically very large projects one after another in an um, orthopedic tower now, expected to go in over the surgical pavilion. So when you guys are looking at these large capital projects and issuing new bonds and doing these multi-million dollar projects, how are you deciding which area, which specialty that you're investing in uh, with all these, these uh, big changes? Certainly. Yeah, if you think about it, in the past 12 years, um, starting with our master facility plan in, in 2006, we have invested a billion dollars in capital over the past 12 years in this community, a billion dollars. That's not um, to create ivory towers. Our community is growing. We are blessed to have a growth rate in population higher than the state average. The state is higher than the national average. So we see a growth in, in population. The population we see growing the most in our region, no surprise, is retirees, who are the highest utilizers of health care those over 65 typically. And so we've seen the demand for our services increase from a population growth standpoint. We've also seen the demand for services grow because I believe our reputation, the, the care we provide, the physicians we have on staff, and the service that we, customer service that we provide. So we are seeing our market share increase throughout the seven county region. Folks are driving literally hours from outside the region to get their health care here. And so we look at the demand projections in each of those services, understand what the need is going to be you know, three, five, ten years out. We look at our current facilities to see you know, how those are, are operating or not working for us. And then we utilize those lean principles. We actually bring in the staff. We bring in patients. We bring in the architects, the engineers, the contractors, and we literally use our lean principles to do a 3P event, which is essentially uh, a three-day long session where we go through different options and iterations of how we might design this facility and what we want it to accomplish. That's what we did with ED North. And it was one of the first facilities that was entirely built that way. And it's been a tremendous outcome because the staff is tremendously engaged because they helped design that facility. Our patients are happier. It has been in the 99th percentile in patient satisfaction since the day it opened because we had patients in that design process who said, here's what's important. Here's what we're looking for. Here's what we don't want. Our physicians are happier. They were part of that process. They were able to say, here's what works for us. Here's what doesn't work for us. And so by incorporating all those perspectives and making sure we're meeting the demands of our market and what our customers need is really how we've approached that growth over the past decade.